Uh, well, OK, a uh, very exciting gig is coming to Killarney this weekend because the Amy Winehouse Band are appearing in the INEC Club this coming Sunday night. I'm delighted to be chatting to Dale Davis. Dale, you were the uh, musical director, I believe, for the Amy Winehouse Band all those years ago. So it's, it's an, it's an honour to chat to you. How are you keeping? Yeah, good, good. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> looking forward to coming over tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so your tour starts tomorrow and then you're, you're playing around the country and eventually coming back, coming down to the very southwest of Ireland uh, to Killarney, where you perform uh, here in Killarney. Is this your first time uh, playing in, in, in our venue? I think so, yes. I mean, I haven't been to Ireland. Well, I've been to Ireland a few times, but not to Killarney, so. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you have some time to, to explore the surroundings because it's a lovely part of the world, as you might if you're a fan of uh, hill walking or mountains or fishing or anything like that, I think you'll enjoy it down here. <laughs> well, if we have time, some of us will probably try to have a go. <laughs> uh, I was watching a documentary a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was around the anniversary of Amy's death, and it was uh, called When Amy Came to Dingle. Uh, yeah. And uh, Ding Dingle is in the same county as Killarney. And uh, I always think about that incredible performance that she put on in, in St. James's Church back in Dingle. So... Uh, I, were you were you there at that time as well, or, or, or were you were you not invited? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was there. Um, it was a funny story. Amy went missing during the day, and uh, they eventually found her. And by the time we left, uh, we could only get a three seater plane. The weather was, uh, it was it was a lot of snow, if I remember coming into Ireland. So it was just me, the guitarist, and Amy, uh, the guitarist, Robin Banerjee. So we, yeah, I remember it very well. Yeah, it was a. It still it still comes on TV quite often uh, in Ireland that performance and and uh, an incredible performance. I think she fell in love with Dingle as well. I believe. Yeah, she had a great time. It was a, you know um, it was a great interview as well with her as uh, so yeah. And it was a great. It was one of those special things because we didn't know what to expect and it was a small church and in those environments you know when it's intimate, Amy you know gives it another dimension altogether. Uh, absolutely. How does it feel? You know, it's been, is what um, are we saying? Twenty years since he, since he, we're kind of um, all together as a band, um, yeah. or around that time. So, so what's it like looking back on some some incredible performances and and you know going to different parts of the world, you know, playing with one of the greatest singers uh, of our generation. Uh, well, it's always it's always a massive honour, but you, you know, obviously, it's bittersweet because she's not here. So whilst there's a lot to enjoy, you know, there's always a sadness that um, she's not here. So. Um, so so, what's it been like on stage then as well? Because obviously you've been doing the show for the last while. So uh, how are the audiences enjoying it? The audience, um, they're enjoying it a lot. It, and it's one of the main reasons why we did it. Um, when I first started doing the show, it was a bit, felt a bit funny about doing it. And then... We started off in Holland, um, and once you start to see the crowd's reaction and realise that's the closest they're going to get to see uh, um, Amy's songs, you know, being performed in that way. So it's a very special thing, and it's a very important part of why uh, we do this. And also, yeah, to show, also to show the love and respect to Amy, you know, that she's given us over the years. Absolutely, and, she, and she's had so many fans, you know, especially in Ireland, so many big fans of Amy in Ireland. Uh, over over the last last years uh, and the thing what i love about this show because a lot of you see a lot of you know these tribute shows coming through all the time and there's you know people just, just fans of music or whatever playing tribute to artists but you know what makes this show especially i mean it's not it's, just, it's not a tribute show it's you, you are you are the band that played with amy for all those years and you're you're, you're you know you're the guys that brought her music to life on stage so it is an opportunity for people to come and and hear uh, exactly what uh, what what Amy worked with uh, over the last few years. So it must be a great it must be a great feeling to be able to keep that alive. It is, and it's a celebration more than a tribute, you, you know. So, uh, and I think we've got to look at a different genre for this because you're going to get a lot of posthumous artists with the artists, you know, George Michael's another example, Prince, where people out playing the band are playing their um, performing, you know, Queen, etc. So. It's it's more than a tribute in that way. Uh, do you see what I mean? So um, mm -hmm. it's a funny thing to explain because people do label us a tribute, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we're very much looking forward to it. I want to chat just quickly about the singer that's going to be playing in Killarney as well with you um, because she's been getting some amazing reviews as well. So can you tell us a little bit about her? 
Her name's Bronte Shand. Uh, she's great. I met her five years ago um, in Bristol. She, we, someone, I was working at an open mic night and uh, it was supposed to be an Amy singer and she didn't turn up, but Bronte turned up instead. And once I heard her started singing, I thought, you know, if there's an opportunity to work with you in future, I'll take that. And uh, she's been doing it for the last two years. You know, she studied Amy ever since she was a little kid. So she's got the whole thing down and gives us a spirit, you know, of good times with Amy. Yeah, well, brilliant. Well, we're looking forward to this. It's going to be a great show. Uh, there's still a couple of tickets left remaining above this video. So if you want to uh, head along and uh, enjoy the Amy Winehouse band, you can do so uh, this Sunday in the INEC Club in Killarney Dale. We're looking forward to the show. Lovely to chat to you. And uh, we'll see you down here at the weekend. Okay, take care. Cheers, Dale. Thank you.